the inherent rights that we have around the world just by being alive, just by being people. To live the way you want to live. It shouldn't matter where you were born, um, what country you're in, um, you, any of those uh, your variable factors that come into play. For me, um, human rights is very important and they need to be protected um, at all costs. It would be, it would mean a lot more to me and I would pay a lot more attention to it if my rights themselves were violated, but I've seen a lot of violation of human rights up across like the past few years and it's been kind of like a growing concern. I'd like to say that it's a high priority, but because we live here, it's easy to let it fall down and forget about the rights that other people don't get to have because we do have more here than other people have around the world. Yes and no. Overall, some yes, some no. There's there's all kinds of, of things there that, that we do well as a country and then we don't do so well in certain parts of the country. So it varies from country to country. You cannot just generalize it for all countries. I think the current society is outpacing the government in terms of the need for additional protections for certain vulnerable groups that still don't have rights in place. Um, so I, I think there is work to be done. Yes is my answer, um, but in certain countries, certain situations, they are not protected and they are, uh, they are being, they are not, they are somewhat taken away from people. But to the most part, yes, they are, they are protected. Labor worker laws and uh, resources and child labor. Labor worker laws, child labor. Immigration refugee is the most uh, protected one. Disability rights and ableism, especially in the military, if you get disabled through the military, they will basically pay you for the rest of your life because you were disabled in service. Everyone should have access to quality health care. It shouldn't matter how wealthy you are or not wealthy. Climate change is least protected. Racism is the least protected because we like to congratulate ourselves and think that that's not a problem anymore when clearly it is. Maybe ageism. Maybe you could add something about religion. Raise awareness, right? So I think, I don't believe there's enough awareness of human rights in the world. Uh, raising the awareness is the best thing that anyone can do today. If you see something and you don't say anything, that's as bad as you saying it. Overall, I think we could all focus in more whether people are, you know, whether they're just not involved um, or whether they're like advocating for human rights. I feel like they could, um, we could all definitely be a lot more involved and um, caring about that. Start with petitions, you can start with peaceful protests, you can start just with a small movement get in front of local leaders, who can get in front of national leaders, um, you know, vote the appropriate people into office, those who support the human rights agenda, uh, make sure that that stays present on their mind, um, don't let them just get into office with a promise that they're going to do it, you know, keep um, advocating for additional change and for laws to be passed to protect human rights. Do participate um, in those uh, election process and also, you know, Supporting, there are many organizations within, within this um, world where they consciously um, strive to protect uh, human rights. And so you, from, from my part, I would do um, all I can to support those organizations. You know, I think that a lot of issues with human rights is, is ignorance. That people don't, they just don't understand things that they don't experience. And so in, I think it would be great if people in power could, you know, not, not experience racism or something like that, but actually be in a situation where they can see where things are happening and how it's, how it's affecting the people and how it's not their fault. I don't believe so. 
right? Uh, I don't believe there is enough awareness uh, in the society of what those rights are and why they are important. Unfortunately, I think a lot of times it's just when something hits the news and everybody's in an uproar that suddenly everybody's like, oh, that not everybody gets the same rights that we're accustomed to, and then it becomes more of an issue. Overall, no. I feel like if we focus in on a group, a group's human rights too much, then we'll forget about a different group, and then that'll just get out of hand and then we'll, we'll just have to like switch between groups but if we all just like are aware of everyone else's human rights then I feel like that would be a lot better. No, I think that there are some issues that make it into the news and those those become important topics for a while but then some things it it cycles around. It's hard to make the public aware of a lot of things all at once. And so there's there's fads of awareness. Yes, but that's an umbrella category, just human rights. Uh, nowadays, yes, uh, with all the social media and uh, um, uh, all other platforms that are available and, uh, you know, um, using smartphones or uh, any other um, uh, feeds that people get. Uh, I think people are more aware of human rights uh, nowadays than they were earlier.